Hey guys, what is up? This is TW Bluff. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss an update. So, in this video, check out my other videos too. Got some real good tips. And, um, yeah, welcome, welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be um, going over the aggressive versus passive playstyles in Fortnite. So, here's the pros and cons to each one. So, the pros, I'm going to start off with the aggressive. The pros to being an aggressive player is... Every kill is 50 health. Now, as you guys know, I mean, health is so important that, and, and they should have had this a long time ago, but I'm just glad they decided to add it. Like, you need something besides the other person's loot every kill. So, 50 health, that was a great add, I think. So, that benefits getting more kills, being an aggressive player. Not saying passive players can't get kills, I'm just saying as an aggressive player, you should get more kills than a passive player. It's just common sense. So, number two. Is you will get more kills than a passive player. Well, I mean, that's... And like I just explained, every kill is 50 health. So getting more kills than a passive player, that's that's another pro to being aggressive instead of passive. Now, and number three for, for being pros to being an aggressive player is you progress faster as, I think, as an aggressive player, you will get better and you'll, you'll get better strategies and better... Um, methods of the game and better just more experience fighting and honestly it's, it's easier to, to get better at the game when you're when you're always in fights when you're always hot dropping instead of sitting back and and waiting to the end game you might you might get better um end game experience and getting more wins um being passive but being being aggressive progresses you faster i think on to the cons so the cons to being an aggressive player is you might not get as many wins, top 5 or even top 12s, as a passive player will get. That's common sense. You're not always going to get make it to the end game if you're always picking and taking fights. So that's common sense right there. Number 2, we have... You could get a lot of games where you die right away. I'm talking a lot. I've had a lot of these games where I die right away, right off, right, right off of dropping because there's so many people hot dropping. And you're one of those people trying to get a lot of kills. And you die right away. I mean, that's just, you. You even can do that as a pass player. Every, everybody's died right away before. And, and number three, we have you might not have as good loot as passive players. End game and uh, just just as good as loot. That's why being passive player is pretty good when it comes to loot because you set yourself up for end game better. I know like a bunch of the people on on the Liquid team esports. They they wait to the end game and they get more wins. That's what they're known for even though they're all beast players. Here's the pros to being a passive player, guys. Good loot, most likely. Most likely, I mean, Fortnite doesn't, I think the loot's pretty random, but I mean, most likely if you're going to snobby or more passive place, you'll find all the loot there and find some good loot. Now two is a higher chance of surviving to the end of the game. This is, this is common sense right here. It's pretty, pretty obvious right here. Number three, more wins, most likely. I mean, there's a ton of aggressive players that get more wins, so... So, I mean, it's not it's not always a different player. It's not always a passive player getting wins. You can be aggressive and get wins, especially with the 50 health bonus. Like like me, I, I, I get a lot of wins, and I'm real aggressive. So, I just think uh, some passive players will get more wins dropping snobby or, or more passive places. Number four, your stats might your stats may look better. Okay, so your stats like as as a passive player, you might have more wins, higher win percentage, less matches played, because of how long they take. But you know, that's just, your stats might look better. That's a pro if you care about stats. Of course, I don't really care about stats that much, so it's one of the reasons why I'm more aggressive too. And the cons to being a passive player is honestly this this is my opinion too. You boring games. Honestly, you just sit there, and you're not going to run into a fight for a couple of minutes. Of, well, more than a couple of minutes off the start. So, I feel like that's more boring and more more, more of the waiting game than um, being, being an aggressive player. And number two is less kills. You will definitely 100% have less kills than an aggressive player. That's, that's a proven fact. I, I mean, I've been past, I've went past it some games and picked up more than 10 kills, but, I mean, it's just so rare. When I go aggressive, I usually, I can pick up 10 to 15 kills, even 20 kills. Sometimes, it's just, 
Just I, I don't know. I'm kind of, kind of. I don't know. I I'm more of an aggressive player. That's just the play style I like to play. But number three is longer. It takes you longer to progress and get better at the game because you're experiencing less fights and stuff like that. It's just that's just common sense. I mean, I think a lot of the YouTubers even say that too. Number four is less experience and less experience fighting and early game hot drop situations. You won't, you might not know what to do. It's so it's pretty it's pretty tense early game. You're not as experienced hot dropping if you need to, or or like it's fight even fighting in general. You're not as experienced. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit hit the like button and um. If you guys enjoyed the gameplay, please let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, guys. If you're new to the channel and you didn't know, I have a Twitch. It's Twitch TW Bluff. I'll leave it in the comments down below. Peace.